From North Portland to Northeast and from downtown to Southwest Portland, the final four of six Safe Rest Village sites are named. You can see the locations on this map, the final four in green. We started in St. John's off North Syracuse Street. This city property near Peninsula Crossing is where the Belmont goats now reside. But for even longer, it's where unsanctioned homeless camping has been happening. And with it, the associated problems. We have so much crime happening right now. We are not, we don't feel safe in our neighborhoods. Deirdre Jennings and family have lived in this neighborhood a long time. She says the homeless situation has gotten really bad in the past few years with little city response. And then when they come to this solution, we still have so many more questions around it. And I think we've been very patient and respectful. And to have this decision made without us being a part of it is, is extremely frustrating. The Jennings backyard borders the proposed safe stay village. It's not tenable at present. And so does um, next door neighbor and, Mark you know, Smith's. Sort of he has the same crazy. concerns about what make the support of camp will look like and how it will run. He's also hopeful. Um, it could make a really big difference in the neighborhood. If if there were managed facilities, if there were uh, treatments available, if there was some kind of infrastructure that would really, really support people there. Maybe some lessons and hope can come from Vancouver's experience so far with what it calls safe stay communities. A second site has been chosen off of Fourth Plain Boulevard and program leaders are conducting what they call extensive outreach to those in that area. And its first location, open with tiny houses since late December, is already seeing successes come from the security and support people are getting there. Some have gone into addiction treatment, others going to school, and... As of this week, I think we've got four people who have received um, or obtained employment. Um, lots of IDs coming in the mail already. ID is a real hot button. You know, lots of people lose it while they're living outside. Back in Portland, we also stopped by the NATO Parkway site next to a homeless resource center by the Broadway Bridge. Thank you for that, that my opinion it actually counted or mattered. We I talked to a young homeless man opinion, who was glad to hear about a safe rest village coming here. It's so hard to get resources, so you coming up like with this and there's more availability in this like section of town, that's like, that's very nice.